All right, so this is a justification for collaborative consumption. Uh, I'm getting rid of all this stuff because I'm moving, and recently I put it all on Facebook to see if anybody wanted it, and kind of telling all my coworkers and friends that I see, you know, hey, I got all this stuff. You might be interested in this, or you might be interested in that. And uh, there's a lot of stuff here that I would imagine people would have taken. Um, I don't know, good power cords, five person tent, skill saw, skateboard, fans in Southern California, so it's always hot as fuck. Um, there's a computer there, all it's missing is a monitor and a, uh, a mouse, it's good to go. Slew of uh, DVDs. Anyway, it's not saying it's anything special, but uh, there's ever a justification for collaborative consumption. It's coming to the realization that so many of our appliances and physical possessions are owned in every household. How many people are, you know, using whatever pot it is 100% of the time? Uh, it just makes sense that things be spread out, distributed in their uh, in their use. Like lawnmowers is a perfect example. Uh, you don't want to have to own the lawnmower and maintain it and build it up and everything. Uh, it'd be a lot better. I don't know if you can see mine, it's out there. But the uh, pull cord on has gone back. So it's sat outside, uh, you know, half the summer and all winter, just not being used because I don't have any lawn to mow during those seasons. And if it were getting used every week, that physical possession would be utilized more efficiently, and that's intelligent. So we, as a society, should do the intelligent thing.